What's up guys, this is Mercs here, and I'm bringing you something different. This is the uh, co-op mission with my buddy Deep Fried Donut. Um, this is the first mission of the co-op uh, campaign era type of thing. Um, as you can see, this is probably in better quality, and it's because I've found a new software for my Mac that I'm able to record on. So, um... It's easier to, it looks like it's better graphics to me, so I'll be using that from now on. So yeah, this is the uh, co-op mission part one. As you saw um, earlier, I picked up a uh, AT mine and I placed one further up the road. And one obviously further further up. This is because a tank comes down. We were trying to go for the achievement, but we failed at, because we're both a bunch of noobs. But, um... So yeah, the ideal places to get is to uh, get onto the top of the um, top of the bridge right here. Use single fire, preferably, because it's more accurate, and you're able to uh, get them. Throw a couple of grenades just for an extra support, and uh, just move up and down. Take out a couple of guys, two bullet, three bullet, whatever you got to do. Take them out as fast as you can, and uh, make sure you keep the javelins your secondary as well, because as you'll see, a tank comes up the road. That you're looking down and you have to take him out if you are going for the achievement like we were so um so yeah you just take out these guys and um have some fun um as i mentioned in my earlier video Modern Warfare 3 should i get it should i not i'm also debating whether to get skyrim now should i get Modern Warfare 3 over skyrim or skyrim over Modern Warfare 3 or wait for uh, both of them for my birthday and or Christmas. Um, I have never played a real RPG game like Skyrim, Skyrim or Oblivion or any of those. So it will be my first one. And it looks pretty fun. My friends have got it. And I hear them. They sound like having a, bit of, a lot of fun on it. So uh, let me know what you think. Should I get it? Should I not? Or should I wait? Um... It's all down to you because I'll probably be posting it just for. I will be posting videos. I'm sorry for um, just for something different, you know. So would you guys want to see it? Just let me know in the comments below. So yeah, as you saw, I took out the tank with a little help from my buddy Deep Fried Donut. Um, what a cool name, I know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, more guys can run down the road. So uh, take them out. A sap. It helps a lot. So, uh, yeah, as you see, you got a new tube attached. I don't like new tubing. It's, it's, as the title says, noob tube. Noob, I'm not really a noob, so I will not use it. I'm sorry if I offend anyone in that. But it's just personal preference. I know this is just against AI people, but I don't like to get noob tube against. And I know, so I will not do it to the opposition, whether it's real people or AIs. So uh, I we were talking back and forth. I my main focus was to set the RPGs out on the roof, which I did, and my friend said he'd take care of the guys down on the floor. And uh, I killed the RPGs, so I helped him. And uh, they just mainly jump over the fence where those trucks, minivans, whatever you want to call them, mom cars, sucker mom, whatever. But obviously some guys came back up on the roof, so I had to go back to them, take them out, protect our vehicles. Uh, some nuisance little mosquito with a whatever he's got is up there as well. He was pissing me off big time, so I had to take him out. So uh, the music changed, so I could feel there was a tank on its way. He comes down that alleyway, so the best ideal place is to either set up two AT mines like I did, or stand right here with your javelin and bomb the fuck out of him. I did both, just so I could show you which either or you could do. But uh, boom goes that, and then I let him come up, and he's dead. So we get the instructions to move back, and move back, or or move forward. So uh, I'll get into that. So as you can see, the trucks pull up into the direction you go. Um, I decided to take the, bo uh, the bottom floor whilst my friend picked up a sniper, and went up onto the uh, roof just to the right there. Um, pre uh, previous to this recording, I thought 
I was recording it and I thought you could take 18 months and take it all the way down to the end. Obviously you can't, there's a 5 second time limit thing, I failed to get into the time limit and I didn't really want to post that video. So we restarted, I died, we failed the mission and we restarted and this is the campaign, I mean the co-op, I'm sorry. So yeah, guys come to the left at the start, so this is what I'm doing, coming behind the car like a scrub, waiting for these AIs to come. A friendly chopper, as you can hear above, shoots in the building straight ahead, that is where RPG guys are, so that's what I told my friend to take out. He uh, concentrated on the RPGs when they came, but also helped me with the guys that come to the left. So yeah, here they come, single fire again, helps a lot, I'm spotting dudes, he's spotting dudes, helping each other out. There's a little glitch there where the guy tries to come towards me, I don't know what happened there. And uh, there's also another little funny glitch that is further up in this video. We laughed about it and he was glad that I caught it on tape. We don't know if I shot him or he shot him or if we both shot him at the same time because it looks pretty cool. But I will show you in a second when it happens. I think that might have just been it. Did a guy just fly? I don't know. I probably missed it. But um, yeah, more guys come. And uh, take him out. Take him out, take that nude behind the pillar out, eventually, there we go. And they like to hide behind cars, so uh, yep. And uh, here comes the tank I believe, oh no more dudes, I'm sorry, you can see how much I pay attention, right? <laughs> so yeah, here come the RPG dudes on top of the roof of that building straight ahead. Um, they try and destroy the cars which they did for us. It was really disappointing. I thought we were able to get the achievement but obviously not. Um, they did destroy our cars unfortunately and my friend was unable to see them and I looked up there and I couldn't see them either so they had very good ninja skills. But uh, yeah unfortunately we didn't get the achievement I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, here comes the tank. This is where you need the javelin. 100%. You need the javelin, definitely. So I take it out right here. Try to spot him, uh, but for some reason it locked onto the car and destroys the car. I was pretty pissed about it because it takes two javelins to destroy him. But not to worry. I get him right here. One. And I think my buddy gets him. I'm not sure. I go back for ammo. Um, whilst he's taking out the trucks, he shoots one javelin and I take him out at the end right now. So, uh, I think, I thought we were doing well here, but as I said that, I look back and there's three vehicles gone. And I was pretty upset about it, but what can you do? It was both, it was mainly my fault, I believe. But it's pretty hard achievement to get. Unless you have to play this mission over a couple of times to get used to where they spawn and stuff. But, uh, this is coming to the end of it. Um, I do take out my new tubes here because, because I can. And, uh, right now, boom. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything, to be honest. The chopper comes in to pick us both up. And, uh, that's the end of this first campaign mission, uh, co op campaign mission. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And uh, look forward to seeing the second mission of the co-op campaign with another friend of mine. Uh, peace out guys and have a good three day weekend.